Welcome to Microsoft Access working with Module B Overview. We'll be working with reports, editing forms, complex queries, SQL, and other database. In this particular um, overview for Module B, we'll be discussing reports, both basic, wizard, and editing. The same with forms. We've done a basic form will also um, and wizard but will also edit forms we'll work with logical expressions complex queries number formatting sql view table design combination keys perimeter prompts wildcard characters and other databases so a basic report in um in uh, microsoft access is again same, working with the same sample of course, and it just is a formal appearance of the data rather than just a, a data sheet view. You have it in a report view. And you'll learn how to select different themes, edit the, the heading or the footer, and adjust the column widths so that it all fits on one page in portrait orientation. Again, you want to uh, consider your target audience and make things uh, appear vis visually um, professional. Edit forms. This is an example of a design view to make any of the changes of the table. Did you want the title centered? Do you want to add more to it? Do you want to change the theme? Do you want to um, adjust the layout and um, width of the columns for the um, data? That's all completed in design view. The complex queries, for example, this one, I was doing a query based on courses and I just chose I wanted department code, course number, title, and credit hours. I did not take the description column. And then I wanted the title in ascending order, alphabetical. But then I wanted the criteria so that it only showed applied computer science. I didn't want it to show English or math. So I did the sorting and a criteria. Structured query language, also known as SQL, is the, all that information that I just showed you is in here in programming language. So um, what was selected from the course table, department code, from the course table, the column name, course number, also field, again from course was title, and one more from course, the credit hours. And that was from course, also the criteria. So we had a, a, um, the criteria for just from department code, anything that is like ACS, and then order by, in alphabetic order, by course title. So that is the programming language there. Queries, perimeter prompts, and wildcard characters. So you can, if you're looking for applied computer science, um, you wanted to filter out just those, but you couldn't remember if it's um, computer applied science or science applied computer. You couldn't remember, but you knew it had computer. You could put a star in the beginning, then type the word computer, and then put another star. So it would look for anything before or after, and it has computer in it, and then that would be a wild card. Perimeter prompts are great if you wanted to. Um, so if you're working with um, the... Um, with just um, North America, and you wanted to, um, you don't want to show all the states. You want just to see Massachusetts. You could set up a perimeter prompt that when you open up this um, query, it'll ask you what, what state, and you'll just type in the state that you're looking for. So it'll filter it out for you automatically. That's a perimeter prompt. Table design changes, you can have combination keys so that you, um, where there's, um, each table has a primary key, which is a unique identifier for that table, but um, some tables can have more than one primary key so that, that you can work with other tables as a relational database. And we'll work with number formatting. Other databases that are out there because not everyone uses Microsoft Access. A lot of organizations and companies um, will um, hire a, a particular um, database management system to design the exact database system they want for their particular use, their company. 
So there are a lot of them out there. If you found this um, course very exciting and, and interesting, there is a three credit version of this for a full semester, CMP 123. Thank you.